This segment of Delmarva Live is brought to you by Delmarva Dental Services. For many of us, it's the first thing we do when we wake up in the morning and the last thing we do before we hit the hay. I'm talking about brushing your teeth. We've learned that having a healthy smile doesn't happen on its own. And if you're a parent or you're about to be one soon, local dentists say it's never too early to instill good dental hygiene habits in your little ones. Believe it or not, they begin at birth, according to the crew at Delmarva Dental Services. The team of teeth experts there is passionate about helping children's smiles shine. A baby's first breath, a moment as miraculous as it is magical. A moment that means so many things. Among them, time for mom and dad to direct their attention to little one's dental hygiene. To be honest, as soon as the baby's born, um, they're drinking milk and um, it's a good idea to start um, rubbing their gums with a moist uh, washcloth. Um, gets that little debris off of there. Jessica Harrison is a doctor of dental surgery at Delmarva Dental Services. She says this can be news to parents. I think sometimes it is surprising um, because most babies uh, soon after they're born they're either breastfed or bottle fed. Um, they don't really have teeth until they're about six months um, so sometimes they don't think it's important to do that but it is. Um, it's very important because it sets up good habits. And she says when that first tooth does come in between six months and a year that's when it's time to switch from cloth to brush. So when that first tooth erupts, um, like I said, we should be switching to that soft bristled toothbrush. Also at the sign of that first pearly white, parents ought to schedule baby's first appointment. The recommendations are that within six months of their first baby tooth coming in or by their first birthday, whichever comes first. Mm -hmm. So usually teeth come in at around six months. That's where we see that first tooth pop up and it's usually on the lower front teeth that you'll see that. Um, so once the mom sees that, that's usually the time where we're like, okay, start planning to come into the dental office. Dr. Irene Sakellis says that first visit is geared towards helping the kiddo feel at home. Usually it's a meet and greet, like, hey, let's walk around, let's touch things, let's play with things. Here's a toothbrush, let's play. And if they're cooperative enough, we'll have them sit in mommy's lap or daddy's lap and like kind of lean forward holding mommy so that way they're comfortable. And then we try to brush their teeth and just take a look. If that's not possible, that's okay. We're not going to sit there and push them to their limits. Something they will push is that parents make sure babies aren't going to bed after a bottle without a good brush. It's a good idea and good practice to have the baby finish the bottle before they go to bed. And the last thing that you should do before that baby lays down is brush their teeth. Um, we don't want that milk and those sugars sitting on the teeth all night long. Um, it just is, is not healthy for the teeth and can cause uh, future issues. Dr. Harrison says kids should have all 20 of their baby teeth by the time they're about three years old. Around that age, parents can start teaching them to brush on their own. Um, I think it's important to always um, follow up with them and kind of show them how to do it. Um, they don't always get all the surfaces, um, so sometimes to make it fun for them, you can have them brush um, your teeth, um, sing songs, make it a little bit more fun for them, um, interactive. Kids have also had the opportunity to interact a bit more with the refrigerator in the last year as COVID-19 has kept them at home. So docs say parents should also monitor how often their kids are munching. It's a good practice to have obviously three meals a day and you know a midday snack um, is sufficient. Um, if you're going to snack and you know have, have a drink, have a soda, um, it's a good idea to rinse or brush afterwards. And pandemic or no pandemic, parents should pay attention to liquids. Under one years old, definitely no juice. Okay. Um, and after one years old, if you want to start incorporating some juice, really small amounts, and probably want to dilute that 50% with water. Mm -hmm. That way, it's not that high amount of sugar or the high amount of acidity. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just sugar that will break things down, it is also acids. Anything acidic in your mouth will break it down. And parents definitely don't want to think it's just their baby teeth.
Baby teeth are just as important as our adult teeth. Um, they create the space and keep that space for our adult teeth to come in. And you know, if we start losing baby teeth or start having issues with those baby teeth, it can actually cause issues for their adult teeth. So starting good habits early only means a brighter smile in the future. These doctors add that parents should also be careful to not instill any fear they have of the dentist in their children. The crew at Delmarva Dental Services will do their best to make every experience fun for kids.